in his way. She's got a smile that is oh so me. And when we're on a date, she really makes a scene. She stays fake. Yeah, she's really great. She's my date, baby. And I don't mean that she's my date, baby. The other boys think she's really fine. They think she's falling for their line. She keeps them hanging on the vine. But when we're on a date, I know she's mine. Oh, my cheese, baby. Hey, she's really great. She's my day, baby. And I don't mean maybe she's my day, baby. Baby, for me. Papa, do, do, up, papa. She'll change her mind when we're out tonight. But when we're on a date, she wants to hold me tight. She's baby, baby. Really, she's really great. She's my day, baby, and I don't mean baby. She's my day, baby. Baby, for me. All right, all right. Come on, the worm wants to squirm. Yes, sir. We can't stay long. It's getting late. Yeah, we don't want Sue's old man flipping his wig again, huh? Keeping them on your feet. I just want to know where they are in case I ever need them. Oh, if I could keep shoes on her half the time, my problems would be over. Come on. Yourself. Let's dance, so I'd like to talk to you. I'm dancing with Danny now, Brad. Oh, yeah. How about that jazz, huh? I'm out of town six months, and Logan just uh, walks in and takes over. Shove off, huh, Brad? Listen, Logan, nobody walks in and takes off with my girl. It's not true, Brad. I'm not your girl. We had a couple of dates, and you act like you owe me. Okay, we'll talk about it later, but right now I want to dance. I don't want to be bothered. Don't, listen. Danny. Now listen, Logan, why don't you just uh, stay out of this? Look, Brad, we all know what you've been through, and we feel sorry for you. you just don't push it, huh? Sorry? Boy, now I'm gonna fix you. Come on, let's fix it up, chicken. Let's go. Chicken, Dad. Brothers, right on time. Yeah. Hey, all right, you guys, let's cut it out or I'll call the cut. We just stay out of this, mister. Wait a 
wait outside. Hey, Nico. I'm telling you, the next time Brad comes uh, out of this place... Shut up. Don't make any threats, mister. That ought to take care of it. We make big plans for your first day back in town, and what do you do? Get yourself in trouble. What's the matter with you, Brad? Oh, it wasn't my fault. Logan started it. Look, if you got troubles, I'll take care of them for you. You gotta take it easy. We don't want you to get sick again, do we? Now, you go on home, and I'll take care of Logan. Now, look, I wanna take care of that guy myself, so just let me do it my way. Go on home, Brad. <laughs> It's gonna cause trouble, Nico. Forget it. Steady now for a couple of years. Well, off and on. I'm not going to worry about a couple of dates you have with a character like Brad. I love you so much, Danny. Ooh, you better go. <laughs> Don't be late tomorrow. I want to get to the barbecue on time. One o'clock, Sean. Hey, I'll walk you to the door. Danny? You'd really better go before Daddy gets home.
giving Brad trouble, Logan. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I don't want you to do that anymore. Understand? I suppose Brad told you his side, huh? That's right. You want to tell me yours? Yeah. Right, go ahead. Well, he comes in the ponchos. <laughs> Now, you better be a good boy, Logan. Tell him he's lucky I'm even doing business with him. He, he's not gonna like this. I don't care what he likes. You take it easy across the border with this stuff, all right? Man, I always take it easy. Just make sure you do. I like the last time. Okay, okay. I'll see you in a couple of days. John, uh, Nico and I had a fight. Yeah, I see. Looks like you got the worst of it. Yeah. Well, don't you want to know how it happened? What? I said, don't you want to know what happened? Not especially. You know, kid, I've tried to take care of you ever since the folks died. But that doesn't mean I'm going to fight all your battles for you. There's some things you've got to do by yourself. I'm not asking you to fight any battles for me. All I want you to do is listen. If you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. Stay away from this and you'll stop looking for trouble. Well, in this case, trouble came looking for me. Or doesn't that make any difference? All right, Daddy. So you had a fight. So what? You come home with a bloody nose and you want to make a big thing out of it. So what am I supposed to do? You want me to hold your hand? 
Okay, John. But I've got enough trouble. Okay. Mind. If that's what you want, to just forget about it. Just forget about the whole thing. Susan, why aren't you at the table? I'm not going to eat, Daddy. We're going to have a party this afternoon. Just what kind of a party is this? Oh, well, the kids are having a barbecue at the lake, just like they did last summer. Well, it seems the one time I get home for lunch, she could spend five minutes with us. Oh, Sue, don't forget the potato salad in the refrigerator, dear. Oh, I can't forget that. It's Daddy's favorite. Are you going with Logan? Yes, Daddy. Susan, I've told you time and again that I want you to go out with someone else besides Logan. Now, you know a lot of nice boys that have some background. Daddy's nice. But we know nothing about his family. He lives with his brother. Susan, I'd rather you associated with a different class of people. Bye. Be back about nine. Have a good time, dear. Hi, when you're ready, come on. Daddy, what happened to you? Just a little trouble is all. Logan, when you call for my daughter, I want you to stay on that side of the door. Look at him. Look at him, Susan. See what kind of a trap you're running around with? Sure, let me explain, sir. I can tell you just what happened. You don't have to explain anything to me. A young punk like you is always in trouble. Daddy, please let him tell you. There's nothing to talk about. I won't have you associating with such trash. Now get out of this house and stay out. If you'll let me explain, I can tell you just how it happened. Get out! Please have a cab at 1118 Harper Drive. Thank you. Hey, there's Dan. Hmm? Yeah. Ah. Hi. Uh, hey, what happened to you? Oh, I had a little trouble is all. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. You look awful. Hey, where's Sue? Old man Randall wouldn't let her come. Oh, maybe I can... No, it wouldn't do any good. But I... Look, just lay off, okay? Hey, you know, if we're going to get a fire built for this picnic, we better get to it. You want to help? Yeah, let's go. Okay? I'll get the basket. Daddy won't even let me see you, and I don't think that's being fair either. Yeah, I know. Oh, if we could only make him understand how we feel. Do you think it'd help if I talk to him? <laughs> well, I don't know. Or are all parents such problems? Who knows? I'll tell you one thing, though. I don't blame your father. You don't. He's got the most beautiful daughter in the whole world. He wants nothing but the best for her. <laughs> you are the best. I'm glad you think so. I'll be darned if I don't agree with you. <laughs> oh, 
have to do is convince him now. What is she doing? Do you want some? Yep. What time is it? Well, it's the middle of the afternoon. Why didn't you get me up? Well, I got a little job for you. Thought the sleep would do you good. Delivery? Yeah. You remember Freddy? What a creep. Yeah, well, you can see what the stuff has done to him. Now, you just remember what I always tried to tell you. It's okay to sell it to these idiots, but you leave it alone. That stuff's murder. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, by the way, I took care of Logan last night. Why? Why? Don't I always take care of my kid brother? Oh, Nico, for Pete's sake. When are you gonna learn to let me do things my way? I'm not a baby anymore. I'm old enough to take care of myself. Yeah, yeah sure you are. Look, kid, go get a shirt. We'll get something to eat. I'd like to talk to you, sir. I'll give you five minutes. Come in and close the door. I suppose this is about Susan? Yes, sir. We, uh, well, after we graduate, Sue and I, we we want to get married. And what are you going to use for money? Well, Sue and I both plan to work while I'm in college. And, uh... Susan, work? You wouldn't be planning to live off old man Randall, would you? No, sir. We don't need your money to be happy. My dear boy, you have no idea what it'll take to make Susan happy. Why, I've given her clothes, money, everything. Sue knows it'll be rough for a while. I suppose you expect me to give my consent to a marriage like this? We hope so, sir. Well, you're wrong. I've got too many plans for my daughter to have you come along and ruin her life. I wouldn't do that. I can make Sue happy. My daughter isn't going to start at the bottom like I did. She'll start at the top. Doesn't happiness mean anything? Your brand of happiness and mine are two different things. I'd advise you to find a girl in your own class. Now I want you to stay away from Susan. And if I have to, I'll take steps to see to it that you do. No use even talking to you.
Sancho Panchos. Come on, may I please speak to Frida Porter? Frida, it's for you. Okay. Thanks. Hello? Hello, Frida. Has Danny come in yet? Oh, no. He got off work this morning to talk to your dad. He said he'd come in here as soon as he got through. Well, when he does, would you and Slats pick me up and have Danny meet us at the lake? Okay. I just have to talk. Sure, Frida, I'd come over this afternoon and spend some records. I dig. Oh, hey, he just came in. We'll be by in a jiff. See you in a few minutes. Hey, how'd it go, Dan? That was Sue. She said for us to pick her up and meet you at the lake. Danny, what are we going to do? I don't know, Sue. Maybe your dad's right. Maybe I am all wrong for you. Danny, that's not true, and you know it. Sue? Yes, Danny? Whatever you want is... It's okay with me. Danny, do we have to wait? No, not if you don't want to. Then let's get married right away. When? Tonight. If we're married, Daddy would have to understand how we feel. Well, yeah, but we just... We could go to Nevada, I guess. If we got married tonight, we could be back by tomorrow afternoon. Hey, we could lie about our ages. So are you sure you don't want to wait? I'm only as sure as you are. Look at those two. Mm -hmm. Why don't you ever treat me like that? Okay, baby. All righty. Looks like you're all tied up. Yeah. <laughs> Here's those drums. Come you here. have to catch me first. Huh. <laughs> yeah, let's tell Slides and Frida. All right. Come on. Hey, look at this. You got the best of you again, Pops. Per usual. Uh oh. Frida, would you go over to my place and pack some clothes for me? I think Mother's at Mrs. Hall's playing bridge, but I don't want to take a chance on her seeing me. Well, sure, but. Sue and I are getting married tonight. Hey, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Anybody got a pencil and paper? I think I do. Is all right if I tell Mother I'm staying with you tonight? Oh, sure. Here. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know which ends up. Well, if you'd slow down, maybe you'd find out. Here. Hey, what are you going to do about your job? Oh, I'll, uh, I'll call my boss, tell him I'm going to take off till tomorrow afternoon, and he'll go along with it. That ought to do it. Here, leave this propped up on the dining room table. Oh, and get my new dress and heels and... Oh, you know the things that go with it. Okay. Oh, and don't forget my pearl earrings. Okay, I'll get a little of everything. Hey, where's your shoes? Whoops! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you want to go with me, honey? Oh, I don't think I should be seen with you. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Dad, what are you doing out here? I just wanted to see you and talk to you. Sue, so about what happened the other night. I'm sorry. Let's forget about it, Brad. It's over with. I'm sure Danny will understand. I'm apologizing to you, not Logan. Sue, what's wrong with me? Why won't you even give me a, a chance? I need you, Sue. I'm sorry, Brad. It's Danny. It'll always be Danny. Let go, Brad. You're hurting my arm. If I can't have you, nobody else would. Let go! Let go! Let go!
Dan. What happened? Brad got away with Sue again. Are you okay? I sure hope I got everything. Anything happened? Nope, nobody was home. Hey, you got enough money, Dan? Yeah, I have plenty. Come on, let's go. When are we gonna see you guys again? We'll see you guys early tomorrow afternoon. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, for <laughs> Pete's sakes. <laughs> Hi, Nico. How's tricks? Brad made a delivery to you today, ain't that right? Yeah. You were supposed to pay up, weren't you? Yeah. How come you didn't? Look, Nico, I, I just ain't got it. But I'll, I'll get it for you next time. Unless you have the dough tomorrow night, mister. There ain't gonna be no next time. Nico, please, if you Tomorrow just... night, Freddy. Just give me a little time. 125 bucks plus the three packages Brad delivered. It was only two, Nico. Three? No, honest, Nico, it was only two. Are you crummy, little... Nico! What happened? Nothing. Who did it? Nothing. Nope. I asked you a question, Brad. Who beat you up? It was Logan. Don't worry about it, kid. I'll fix him good this time. Now, why don't you just let me do it my way? We'll talk about it later. Right now, Freddie and me are having a little chat. How many packages did you deliver, Brad? Three. No, no, no. Brad, it, it, it was two. Tell him it was two, Brad. It was two. Tell him, Brad, it was two. You. It was two. It was two. Don't forget, Freddy, tomorrow night.
off them pleated purple Bermudas. Ooh, Bermudas are driving me wild. Pleated purple Bermudas. Or oh, ain't you gonna love your honey child? Rip off them Bermudas. Sister. Look, Nico, what's to you what Logan does anyway? Why don't you leave the guy alone? Play something loud. Real loud. Look, you're a small boy. Logan out with that broad again. And don't you hear good? Look, Nico, why don't you just find a hole and jump in it with the rest of the rats? You bench your coke boy? Yeah, why? Well, uh, just walk back over there and have another one. Asking you for the last time. Leave him alone, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, that's a little better. About it. They're getting married. They what? They're getting married. <laughs> oh, ain't that sweet? Well, don't feel bad, honey. That's just a gentle pat compared to what Logan's gonna get. See our license. Oh. You have it? Mm hmm. Good night. That's it, number eight. Here. Hey, hey, come on. You wait right here. Right there. Danny, what are you doing? Never mind, you wait. Hey, we got a radio. You got a quarter, honey? Oh, I'll see. <laughs> you love me? get an awful early start.
Mrs. Logan. Oh, that sounds strange. Say it again. Mrs. Logan. Mrs. Danny Logan. You do have to get up awful early. You, you go ahead, I'll, I'll get the lights. Good morning, Mrs. Logan. Good morning, Mr. Logan. Oh, we're home. Glad to be back. Uh-uh. I wish you wouldn't have come back at all. Well, there's Elmer. Let's go see if we can find Slats and Frida. Okay. Well, how's the married couple? Wonderful. Hey, how'd it go? Fine. Didn't ask any questions, just tied the knot. What happened to you? Oh, I had a little uh, trouble with Nico. He was looking for somebody called Logan. <laughs> Seems he doesn't like people who mess up his baby brother. I'm sorry, Slats. Well, that's all right. It just hurts when I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry I took it out on you anyway. Oh, any time. Look, Frida. Oh, golly, Sue, how pretty. Hey, let me see. Mm, I'll bet that sets you back a pretty penny. Hey, we got an idea. Why don't we celebrate tonight? Right, the party's on me. No, you don't have to do that. Oh, come on. We already planned on it. We'll go someplace really neat for dinner, and then we'll do whatever you guys want to do afterwards. Gee, that sounds great. Oh, did my mother call? No, everything went fine. Hey, how about tonight? Great. Oh, I wonder if I can get out of the house. Tell you folks you're having dinner at my place. Gee, I wonder if it'll still work. Oh, tonight's Friday. They always go out for dinner on Friday night. I know I can do it. Good. Hey, would you two mind taking Sue home? I gotta get back to work. Sure. I'll be with you guys in a minute. Okay. Danny, I hate so much to take it off. Oh, don't worry, honey. Won't be too long before you can put it back on. We can tell everybody. Answer the phone. You gotta come home sometime. You get it, Ruth. I'm gonna take a bicarbonate. I ate too much. Hello? Well, is your name Randall? Yes, this is Mrs. Randall. Who is this? That isn't important. Do you know who I am? Who is this? What do you want? I just uh, had a little information about your daughter that I thought you might uh, want to know about. About my daughter? 
You know where she was last night? Why, yes, she spent the night with a friend. Sure she did. Yeah, she spent the night with a friend, and that friend was Danny Logan. She was with a girlfriend. Yeah, she spent the night with Dan Logan. Hello? sensitive he is. everything in the world we possibly can. I'm going to ask you a simple question, and I expect an honest answer. Where were you last night? I, 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 she stayed with me. You don't have to lie for her, Frida. You spent the night with Logan, didn't you? You've become nothing but a nasty little tramp. I thought we raised you better than that. As for you, Logan. Oh, please, J.G. We were married last night in Las Vegas. You were what? Oh, Sue, how could you? Mother, we wanted to wait, but Daddy wouldn't even let me see Danny, and we had to prove. Prove? This proves that neither one of you has an ounce of sense in your head. I love Danny, and there isn't anything you can do about it. Oh, is that so? Well, young lady, you're not of age yet. And until then, you'll do exactly as I say. Now get in that car. I won't. I'm going to stay with Danny. I'm going to throw the book at you, Logan. Not only will I have the marriage annulled, but I'll send you to jail for contributing to a delinquency of a minor and taking a minor over a state line. you enough trouble. Now, now go home, please. Don't say that, Danny. Please let me talk to you. Sue, I'm no good. I'm no good for you or anybody. Everything I do is wrong. You know that's not true. Sue, I'm not, I'm not going to cause any more trouble between you or your folks. I'm the one guy that knows how important parents are. I still love my folks. But I love you, and that's important, too. No, it won't work, Sue. It just won't work. Hi, Mr. Logan. Hi, Mrs. Logan.
two, there's only one way it's gonna work. If we get out of this town, go somewhere where everybody will leave us alone. Whatever you say. It's gonna be rough for a while. We'll both have to work. I mean, I get to finish school. I don't care. As long as I can be with you. Where's Susan? Here she comes now. Hi. Where have you been? For a walk. Honey, your breakfast is getting cold. I'm sorry, Mother. Take that ring off. I can't. I'm married. Not for long. I'm having it annulled. As far as I'm concerned, I am. Susan, you're not to leave this house unless you're with us. Is that clear? Daddy, I'm finished your breakfast. Hey, Dad, over here. Have you talked to Sue yet? I talked to her a little while ago. She said something about trying to get away about 7.30. She couldn't talk, and I couldn't figure out what she was trying to say. We're leaving tonight. She probably wants you to pick her up. Well, where are you going? Do you I don't think know. that I ought to run away? Well, what else can we do? Your old man will never come around now. Just have to go someplace where they'll leave us alone. Yeah, I guess so. Well, what do you do, Dan? Oh, I think we can get jobs of some sort. It'll work out. Other people do it. Why can't we? Well, you'll let us know where you are, won't you? Sure. Hey, look, will you call Sue again? Make sure 7.30 is okay. Sure. She may not be able to talk, but I sure can. Well, you better believe it. Unless we call you, we'll pick her up and meet you at the park at 7.30. Okay. Thanks. Sue, do you want to watch television? No, Mother. I'm reading a book. Oh, honey, don't you want something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Oh, stop fussing, Ruth. She'll be all right in a couple of days. Just leave her alone. Yeah. Hello, Nico. This is Freddy. You have the bell? Look, Nico, you, you gotta give me more time. I, I tried. Out of the goodness of my heart, I've already given you an extra day. Your time's up, Freddy. Nico, please. Look, you better be there, because I don't want to have to come looking for you. Nico, just, just a little more time. Nico. Nico?
giving the police. Say, Tony, how's the man? Where's Nico? How should I know? Where are you going? Just don't sweat it. Later. Now, look, we're supposed to meet Nico here. He's not going to like you take it. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Brad? What do you mean by that crack? Oh, nothing. I. I just can't understand why you ain't following Nico's instructions. Because I've got something more important to do. Where are you meeting Sue? None of your business. This time, I'm going to take care of things my way. Now look, Brad. Nico's not going to like you taking off like this. Let's get back. Go on, way back. Get your coat. Look, Nico, you've got to go. Shut up. You don't tell me what I got to do. I call the shots around here. You're going to help me find Freddy. Brad! Brad isn't here. He went to meet that Randall dame. He's got a gun, and he's on the junk again. Where'd he go? <laughs> I don't know. Senate, do you think one of us ought to cover the back? Yeah, I'll take care of it. It's the cops. Is Brad with him? No. Let's go out the back. Hold it. Inside. Nico Martinelli? Yeah. They're right here. Hold it. Come on. What's the trouble? Look, you can't just walk in here. You know a guy named Freddy?
Hey, what's up? You going somewhere? Yeah. Well, where are you going? No place you'd be interested in. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, look. If you got problems, well, maybe I could help. I seem to remember you telling me that I was old enough to solve my own problems. Well, I'm taking your advice. That's exactly what I'm doing. So don't give me that big brother routine. Relax. Said he'd be here in a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, it's Danny. Brad. Get out of here. Okay, Brad, we'll leave, but Sue's coming with us. I told you to leave, now get going. Come on, let's go. We can't leave Sue here with him. Come on. Now, don't be afraid, baby. You're my girl. Please leave me alone, Brad. Don't fight it, Sue. Go. She... No one of her suitcases is missing. But where could she be? I'll call Helen and see if she knows where Frida is. She may be with her. Hello? Hello, Helen. Do you know where Frida is? Ruth, she went for a ride with Flats down to meet Danny at the park. Oh, thank you, dear. They're at the lake. Sue's probably with them. What's Susan trying to do? <laughs> You and me, we're going away together. It'll be fun. Where are we going? I don't know. Yeah! Hey, Dan, Brad's got Sue up in the park and he's got a gun. A gun? Get the police! For a walk down by the lake? No. But I want to. No, come on, we gotta get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Sue, you don't want to get away. You're my girl. That's my girl. We better get out of here. Oh, just hold her right there, pretty boy. Let her go. Now, you're not going to stop me. Look, don't push it, Dan. Move one more inch and she gets it. You wouldn't hurt her. You love her. Sure I do. But she's my girl and you're not going to get her away from me. Now, this isn't going to prove anything. Look, just stop right there, Logan, or I'll kill her. Give me the police. Calling car 107. Calling car 107. Car 107. Go ahead. Proceed to south section of Higgins Park. Dope addict holding girl at gunpoint. Okay, we'll get it.
right there, Logan. Look, Brad. You haven't got a chance now. Come on, give me the gun. Give me the gun, Brad, and get out of here. Come on. Get an opening. Look, let me talk to him. I can get him to do anything. Nico. Nico? Take it easy. No, stay back, Nico. Fred, I'll fix things up for you. No. Just like always. No, no. No, leave me alone, Nico. No, stay, stay back, Nico. I'll shoot. You gotta let me have the gun. No, leave me alone, Nico. Leave Nico. the gun now. Nico, stay back. Leave the gun! Nico! Nico? Stay back, Frida. He's dead. Yeah. Wait here. Let's take him home. Hey, Dan, are you all right? I'm okay now. 